Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. We have a nice laptop. Yeah, it's a Lenovo ThinkPad i7A Gen. The problem with this one, the charging port, yeah? So let's have a look at the charging port, just to understand with what we are dealing here. Ah, you can see the pins broken inside. So there and here. Yeah, so we have to replace this charging port. Now I try to explain to the customer, you know what? Let me see first what charging port is there, let me order. And the customer was, no, 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 I, I will send you a, char a, a board for spare so you can take the charging port and replace it, which is nice, yeah? Very nice from the customer. The problem is with this charging port, you're looking dodgy, you know what I mean? I mean, okay, it looks fine, but someone replace it, and I can see flux. I can see flux even inside of the port. You can see it? I mean, not sure how good it is. Hmm? What do you think? What for try, right? Hmm. Should work. I mean, it's better than what is right now on the laptop. So that's fantastic, you don't want actually the customer is sending you a, a motherboard for spare, so actually you can take the, the charging port out. Okay, let's have a look inside of the laptop. I haven't opened the laptop, I don't know what it's inside. The screws are open. Yeah, this is a nice board, I mean we don't have the battery. So we have the charging port here, right? Yeah, let's see what we have there. I mean, I cannot even test if the board is working. You can have a surprise to replace the charging port. And actually what we have here, we have a dead board. Yeah, we can see that board as the original port there. Let's unplug the screen. Let's make some space, right? Here we have the what is here sd card socket slot or i oh know sim sim card no s no 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 right no it's a memory card yeah looks like we have a bios battery here You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy we don't have broken trucks because that, you know, that can change. Uh, yeah, you see the, the, the trucks. The trucks are good. I mean, how hard can be this job? You know what I mean? Just, you know, a relaxing uh, job. You know, it can be done. You can only hope you have to re replace the charging port. Actually, the board is working. But yeah, it's nothing to worry about. Usually you have to worry about broken trucks, yeah? On a job like this. So we took the board out. We took the board successfully out. Yeah, this board has never been replaced, you can see. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, so uh, basically this is like five minutes job in the worst case scenario so if everything is going right which i really doubt it we can have this board working like in five minutes good so how we are replacing this very simple on the size of the desk remember this port is faulty so uh, we don't care about this port so I'll come with max heat, yeah, 500 degrees, 480 actually. Yeah, on the side of the of the desk here. Good, good. Now let's come with some flux, just a little bit. You know, we don't even need flux when they're taking the port out. You know, but just, why not? You know what I mean? Good, let me grab a nozzle. Yeah, max hit, max hit, good, good, good. Now let's take the port out. Yeah, 
Yeah, you want max hit to take the port out quickly without heating up the board too much. That's the idea. So the port is out, yeah? Easily, I told you. Easily. So everything is fine there. Check there. Every pin, it's okay, yeah? Every pin. Every pin. Now let's get the spare board. Yeah, so this is the board for spares. So what I'm gonna do right now, lower the temperature to like uh, 320. Let's try with 320. Now let's see. I mean, you don't want to melt the plastic. You know what I mean? Remember the charging port? It's a combination plastic and metal. You don't want to melt the, the plastic. Good, I can see it's getting melted. 300, 320 degrees, that's mean uh, the solder has been replaced. So why is it not coming out? Uh -huh, good question. Actually a good one. That's a good question. Why is it not coming out? So here is melted, right? Yeah. Here is melted, but still not coming out. I mean, why? Let me take out the reflections. Yeah, now it's better. Why this port is not coming out from the motherboard? Anyone knows? It starts moving, but still, look. Lol, let me, let me raise the temperature, yeah? 340. I mean, it's kind of strange. 340, we are about at the limit to melt the plastic. Yeah? Yeah, it's coming out. Perfect, perfect. You see, 20 degrees more. 20 degrees, that's all what is taking. So the port looks fine. I mean, it looks dodgy, but still fine, yeah? So I will come with a new board, with a working board. Same here, yeah, same here. Now let's prime the solder, yeah, I will come with some, uh, it's no low melting, yeah, don't get me wrong, I mean, uh, 270, it's no like low melting solder, but yeah, it's lower compared with, uh, with the original one, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Huh? Perfect, right? I mean, looks perfect. You know? If it's looking like a duck, it's making sound like a duck. Yeah, it must be a duck. The port is fine inside, right? I mean, it has a lot of flux, but it looks fine. Good. So how are we going to solder this? Very simple. 
combing with like uh, 320 degrees 320 25 yeah let's say 325 Hot. Perfect, perfect. Nearly perfect. Nearly, still not going inside here on this corner. Yeah, it goes inside, goes inside. Let's check here. Perfect. Now let's uh, have a look together. I mean, each pin is soldered on place. Yeah. The size of the pores are soldered properly. I can't see anything wrong here. What is left is to be cleaned, yeah? Let's clean it quickly. Let's make it nice. Good. Now another problem. Yeah, here is fine also. We can clean it, we can clean it. Uh, another problem is inside, yeah? So we have to clean it inside. Perfect. Now the final test, yeah? So we have the USB meter. We have a USB-C here. With the USB meter, and if, if we are not seeing 19 volts, we work for nothing. Actually, probably the board is faulty. And it's not working! It's not working at all, I can't believe. The, the board is faulty, most likely. Here is flashing, but have nothing to do with the... Uh, it's not working. No, it's not working. Let me plug the charger without the USB meter. Let me reflow one more time. But it's not working, clearly it's not working. I mean, we can see. Something is wrong there.
Mm -hmm. What do you think? Nah, it's not working. No, 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 no. Here the light is flashing, on the other side is not working. This is what I call a faulty board. Yeah, we work for nothing. I mean, kind of expect that. <coughs> because you know how it is. Uh, when the laptop stop working, when it stops working, what do you think the customer it will do? You know, with the charging cable inside of the charging port. And the charging port get broken. And if you think you like a repair guy okay this is a charging port problem but it's not yeah the capacitors are fine it's no short on the main power rail which sucks yeah probably it's a who knows what fault it is here But basically, we are now going over the job description, which was a charging port replacement. Zero ohms capacitors, no? No. What is the... Here we have some, uh, who knows what, MOSFET. We have another MOSFET. Here we have some capacitors, which they are fine. Here we have an inductor, which is good. More capacitors, which are good. Fuse. Oh, look, we have a fuse here, which is good. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, that's my luck. Uh, what do we have here? What is this doji thing here? This looks like it has some flux on it. Oh, there's a BIOS chip. BIOS. Actually, it's not BIOS here. Uh, no, probably it's a Thunderbolt firmware. So you have the data lancer and the charging port is going here and here, probably on the other side of the board. And I have this big chip, which, which, lol, they use some, uh, they use some, uh, uh, you know, kind of resin, you know, to stack the chip onto the board. You can see it everywhere. So the data lines coming straight to this chip, okay? Well, I'm cute, but this chip is managing the power also. Has a bunch of capacitors around. Not sure about that, but we can move further and spend a little bit more time. So what do we have here? Let's see. Here we start having some nice things. Yeah. What is that one? TPS. Look at that chip. And here we have two MOSFETs. We have a fuse, which is going probably there on the charging port. Yeah. Well, let's see what do we have here. I knew it. You know, I knew it. This is this will not gonna be like five minute job. Okay, fuse. Where is the fuse? Yeah, probably the fuse is good. Don't worry. Yeah, the fuse is perfect. Yeah, fuse is good. We have two more sweats, and from here, probably we have. Wait, why this one is bent like that? 
I check there. So this is a current sensor, yeah? Wait, here we have another two MOSFETs. And the fuse is good. So here you have to, okay, got it now, yeah? From the charging port, you have something. They have a fuse, two MOSFETs, main power L. And on the other side, you have same fuse, two MOSFETs, and the main power L. And then you have a bent current sensor. And from here is the main power L, right? Which probably is not shorted to ground. No, it's not. Interesting, yeah, let's connect the charger and let's check some things here around. So I connected the charger. It's still flashing. So here we have, yeah, we have like 5 volts, 0, you know, I oh, can't see, sorry. You can't see. Yeah, now it's better. Yeah, so here we have... Yeah, you can see on the screen, 3 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts. Yeah. Going up and down. And here we have nothing because we have to turn around the USB-C in order to have voltage there. Yeah, done it. Where is it? Here. And here we have nothing, like nothing, nothing. Okay, let's remove the charger. I remove the charger. I'll come with the power supply. Let's see what we have there. Five volts, good. A little bit of current. Let's check the inputs, which is this. And this one is fine. This one is fine. The output, the main power rail, which is this. It's good, it's not shorted. Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Next step. Next step is the IO chip. Yeah. Let's find the 3.3 and the other things here. Do you think we should check the coils first? Hmm? What do you think? Yeah, let's check the coils. You know what? Let's see, because, uh, you know, maybe, I mean, not maybe, but we can waste time and actually we, we can have like a shorter CPU or something like that. Yeah. You can see a bunch of coils here. Let's check them before we are doing anything else good so we have ground here we have 82 ohms good here we have 25 ohms still good 7 ohms 7 ohms 10 ohms looks good I mean do you see anything dodgy here? This coil good. This coil good. Here you have the RAM memory, yeah? Good. The EC chip. Yeah, do we have we have like a MEC1663, which it's nothing what we can do here. We are just wasting a little bit of time checking things around, yeah? But with this ship, is nothing what we can do. Good. Let's try to find the 3.3 volts. Here we have like one point something. Okay, maybe this is the 3.3. Someone play here. Someone test some things here. Mm -hmm. What is this? 
Wait, one second. Lol, it's working. What the hell? I mean, we were doing nothing, so now we have 19 volts. And the CPU is warm. It was not working. This is crazy. I mean, we done nothing. Yeah, no, it's working fine. 19, 500 milliamps, you can see. And the CPU is getting hot. The board is coming on. Okay, let's put the board back and see if it's coming on, if we have picture on the screen. Looks good, right? Okay, let's put the board back quickly. Wait, what about this? I think it was here, right? Yeah. Perfect, like new. We have to put the board first on this. Yeah. Good. Good. Perfect, perfect. Everything is on place. Let's put the connectors. I mean, we don't have the battery, but hopefully it will work without the battery. Should work, right? Yeah, because I seen the CPU is getting hot. Yeah. Good, the screen. No, actually, that one is the screen, right? Good. Good. Perfect. And the BIOS battery, right? Yeah. Power on. Funny spinning. That's a good sign. We have picture. It's working. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. Actually, it's working. This laptop gave me some heartburns, you know, when we seen that flashing uh, meter. I said, you know, this board is faulty, but it's not. It's working. Great. Yeah, okay, let's power off. Let's pin the charger yeah, on the other side, like this. Let's test one more time, just to be sure it's working with the... Yeah, it's coming on, you can see the power meter, you can't see it, yeah? And it's working great. So we've done a good job with the charging port, and actually the laptop is working. If you ask me why the laptop didn't came on from the, from the first try, you know, it's like an old car. When you try to start an old car, you spin the key, and... You know, the engine, oh, oh, oh. Hey, same, same this laptop, same this laptop. <laughs> I'm joking, but I have no idea. I'm happy it is working. Okay, good. I will stop now. I will put it all back together. I will not keep you here. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, 
have in mind yeah if there is a charge port, it's a very high chance actually the laptop has a different fault and the customer broke the charging port yeah just have in mind see you on the next one bye